Welcome back to Coffee and Crypto. And in the last video, I tried to bring you the rebalancing bot and the video quality was horrible. So I went ahead and hooked my phone up to my computer and I am going to try and do this again. So I had mentioned in my previous one that I had ran the bot before and I did really good with it. So I started it with XRP and XLM and you can go into details and what this bot does is you put in your initial funds so the minimum to start the bot is two hundred dollars so i went ahead and just put two hundred into it and you're going to see this happen a lot when you start it every five minutes it takes a basically a snapshot of the price movements and if there's no price movement this is what you're going to see now whenever there is price movement say one coin drops or one coin spikes it is going to sell the one that spiked and buy the one that dipped so you're going to be constantly switching back and forth between the two bots or between the two coin pairings that you choose so this is pretty neat uh, kind of, I didn't understand it really to begin with but whenever you go over here to balance change and you see okay I started this with 99 XRP and I started with 255 XLM now, whenever I shut the bot down, I had 104 XRP and 243 XLM because XRP was dipping and XLM or Stellar was going up. So, my goal in this bot was I wanted to get more XRP. So, I wanted to leave this running a lot longer than I did, so, but unfortunately, I met my goal pretty quickly so I went ahead and shut down I believe XRP was down one or two percent and XLM was up about seven percent so I achieved my goal and went ahead and shut this bot down so I did that and um, yeah I got a new one up and going and you can see that it has done zero trades but in order to get this going all you have to do is from your home page once you get your Pinex account funded simply come down here to trade select bot and then the orange button right here create a new bot you're going to do the dual coin rebalancing bot right here and simply select a pair so say you want to do bitcoin and ethereum so you just select those two and whenever you slide the investment you're going to see the minimum is 200 usdt so as soon as you have 200 usdt you can start it if you want to invest a lot more than 200 you can do that and it will simply just rebalance every five minutes now I left a link to the discord and in here I hold on let me find it real quick shouldn't be that far up sorry I don't have all this already pulled up man that was some horrible quality right there. Maybe I need to invest in a uh, new computer so I can bring y'all better content. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to find the link to the article on the actual rebalancing bot. I'll leave it into the link of the description. And it simply goes over everything 
that I've already discussed in greater detail. And it shows that whenever you hodl or you're simply holding the coins, that, um, you know, the price fluctuates, but you're not earning more coin. You're just simply hodling, which is a bad thing, but with the rebalancing bot, it is constantly buying a little bit of, you know, like once ETH rises faster, it's going to sell a little bit of ETH and buy the dip on Bitcoin. Well, whenever it comes back up to a one-to-one -one ratio, you have more coin. Now, I was expecting it to take a long time for me to figure that out. But this was after like two or three trades. So you can see here whenever I started the bot, I had 99.43, 99.44. Okay, started the bot with 255.09, 255.27. So doing the rebalancing actually gave me extra coin. So I was really impressed with that. And I did want to leave it running long term to find out. And if any of y'all have left this going long term, uh, share your results. I mean, obviously, whenever the market dips and all the coins dip, it's going to seriously suck. Because whenever you come over to your home screen, instead of seeing a positive number, you're going to see red. So it's going to freak you out mentally, but just leave the bots running, let them do their thing. And whenever it pumps again and the market goes back up, you're going to have more of both coins and it's going to be awesome. Like I said, I had achieved my short term goal, so I went ahead and shut it down. There's really no wrong way to trade this. Um, unless you're selling at a loss because you're freaking out and that is not a good way to trade. Just leave the bots running, let them do their thing. I will leave a link in the description to the article. I'll leave a link in the description to my Pinex if you want to support me. Um, simply sign up underneath me and I believe... I get a fraction of a 0.05% trade. I think I get 20% right now of that. So it's pennies on every $100, but hey, it'll add up eventually. And so it does help out. And if you want to uh, follow me, simply join the disc Pinex Discord. I'm in there periodically. They have the Pinex Telegram group. Now, if you join the Telegram group, beware of scammers. Anyone impersonating an admin, anyone who messages you first is a scammer. Admins will not message you. There is no one called Pinex support. And above all, they will never, ever, ever ask you for money to fix any kind of issue so don't fall for that don't fall for the bs save yourself some issue just discuss your problems in the main group and they will help you out in the main group and ask you to message them first if it's something that you absolutely need to message them and get help with so Hope this has been helpful and sorry I had to make two videos, but I just wanted to bring you a little bit better quality of a video than the last one. So once this is out on PC, I'll do a really good video, great quality, and make sure I tie up any loose ends. If you can think of anything I missed, please leave me a comment in the description or in the video. And I will try to fix it on the next one. So until then, keep the coffee hot and trades even hotter.